Today we're going to be uh, changing a battery in a Class 1 uh, industrial power truck. Um, first thing that we need to do is make sure we have our proper PPE on. Uh, our company rules just state that we just need gloves since we will, will not be handling any battery fluids. We won't be changing any water. So we're just going to be changing the battery. All right, when you pull your lift truck into the battery changing area, first thing you need to do is make sure you have your forks down, you have the, uh, the key turned off, and you have the emergency brake on. Raise the steering wheel so we can put our seat up. Also, when changing a battery, you want to make sure we want to make sure we remove any uh, metal, watches, uh, conductive materials because of the uh, hydrogen gases in the battery. We want to make sure we don't cause any sparks. So we want to make sure we have any of those things off, probably a cell phone, uh, tools, other things that might be on top of the lift truck. We want to make sure they're out of the way of the battery so they don't come in contact with the cells. Um, also, we're going we're gonna to lift the seat up. We're going to open up the battery, the top, and disconnect the battery. We want to make sure that we put the cable up here in the battery so it's not hanging out loose. I want to put the top back on it to protect it so that it doesn't fall out and get smashed between the battery or the forklift in the process of changing. All right now we're going to get our, our hoist lift and we're going to bring it over to change the battery. When you begin to change your battery, when you use the, the hoist lift for the first time, you want to make sure that you understand the directions. Uh, these are marked north, south, east, and west. So you need to make sure you know what directions you're going. So it's, it's not a bad idea to familiarize yourself with the controls. That's important so that uh, when you're moving your battery, you don't get confused about your directions and end up pinching yourself between the uh, forklift and the battery uh, or anything else in the area. So that's a good idea to familiarize yourself with that. All right now we're gonna line up the, the battery chain, the chain with the opening on the top of the forklift. Now it's important to uh, make sure you have your hooks at the right distance apart. These are adjustable by moving them in for smaller batteries or moving them out for larger batteries. With this size battery, it's, it's best to line your hooks up about, about the distance of the battery apart so that they're not, they're not stretched this way or they're not too tight in this way. So I'm gonna go in one notch from the outside. I'm gonna make sure my other one's the same way. It's about the distance of the battery. Right now I'm gonna lower the, lower the hoist. The best way to do this is to Hook the outside hook into the hole first. And then lower this side, making sure you keep your fingers in the middle of the hook so you don't pinch it between the hole and the hook. It's important to make sure that the hook goes all the way in also. We want to make sure that we get the hooks in properly. I like to make sure that this one's in too before I do completely lift it up. I just like to snug it up just so I can walk around and make sure that the, it are, it's in the holes. And now we're ready to pick the battery up and take it over to the uh, charging station. It's important to stay clear of the battery too because these batteries weigh between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. So it's important to keep your feet away just in case the battery would fall. You're not gonna get your feet smashed.
when we get our battery into the, uh, the charging station, we want to make sure that we lower it slowly, keeping your fingers clear not to pinch your fingers in between anything. As you set it down, slowly release the pr pressure off the hooks. As you see, as a, that one just came undone. And then we might have to tip the back one to release it. And then once they're clear of the battery, just raise it back up and bring it out away from the battery. In the process, some of the hooks might come undone. You might want to just fix it, put it back where it was. We have it one notch inside on each side so that it's ready for the next person. When we get our battery into the changing area, <clears throat> we want to make sure we open up the lid. When the battery's charging, it's important to keep the lids open because when the batteries are at the end of their charging process, hydrogen gases form in the battery and any kind of spark or uh, smoking or anything like that could ignite an explosion which could cause serious burns to any unexposed areas of your skin. So these chargers in this station are all the same. They all have gray ends on them, which means they're all the, the, compatible with these chargers. So what we're gonna do is, when we plug in our battery to our charger, we wanna make sure the charger's off. This one is off, in the off position. If the, batter, if the charger would be on and we would plug it on while the charger's still plugged in, or the charger's still on, it could cause a spark which could ignite an explosion. So we wanna make sure the battery charger's off when we make the connection. And there's only one way these can go in. They're, they're offset, so we're gonna plug our charger in. We wanna make sure we inspect also the cables and make sure there's not any exposed wires or anything, anything like that you find that's exposed. Chargers that, are, uh, that have come apart, we wanna make sure we report that to the maintenance department. And uh, battery's hooked up now, the, the top is open, so right now we're going to turn on the charger. <clears throat> Our battery is now charging. A typical battery takes about eight hours to charge, and once it's done charging, it takes about eight hours to cool. All right, now we're going to demonstrate how to uh, put a battery back into your, your lift. Once again, we want to make sure we got our hooks in the right position. Remember, if they're too wide, we don't, we don't want them too wide. We don't want the hooks to be angled. We want to try to keep them vertical with the battery. So this one was adjusted about one notch in on each side, and that's typical for these size batteries. So we're going to take our our hoist in and pick the battery up. Before I do that, I'm going to uh, close, close the battery lid so I don't damage the cable or the, or the hook. Now we're gonna hook our back hook first. And it's gonna be a little bit tricky because we really can't see the back, so we wanna make sure we, we angle the, the hoist and kind of feel for the hole in the back of the battery. It's important to make sure the hooks are in properly before you lift it up. I'm gonna bring down this side. I'm pulling a little bit toward myself so that I can keep the back hook in place as I lower it down. Still trying to make sure you keep your fingers clear of the actual hook. Just kind of keep it in the middle of the, the bar there. I have tension on it now. It's not off the platform, but I'm gonna look again and make sure that the back hook is still in place. All right, everything is still in place, so I'm gonna pick up the battery. It's important to keep your hand on the battery, at least to steady it so it doesn't get out of control. We're make sure we line our chain up with the opening of the top of the forklift. 
Once we get it lined up, we're ready to bring it down. Once we bring it down and we get the pressure released from the hooks, then we can release the hooks. And once the hooks are free, go ahead and raise the crane up. And bring the hoist out away from the battery. Now we're ready to plug in our battery. <clears throat> we're going to open up this side of the lid. We're going to take our cable and we're going to insert it into the uh, into this part of the forklift. Also making sure on your new battery that you uh, inspect the cable and make sure there isn't any open wires. And once you get the cable in securely, you can go ahead and close the lid. And then we can put our, uh, our seat back down. And make sure the, and make sure the lid's fastened. Now we bring our seat down. Um, one other thing about uh, charging a battery, it's on occasion, sometimes forklifts have to be plugged in directly uh, if there's uh, there isn't enough room or there isn't any room on a table um, it's important not to quick charge a battery because batteries only have about a eight uh, well they have 1500 to 2000 life cycles and a quick charge removes a life cycle from a battery so they need to be plugged in for at least eight hours and they have to be cooled for eight hours the way they know it's charged um, some of these chargers have uh, a shut off, they automatically shut off when they're charged, or some are, have indicator lights saying that they're completely charged with a green light. 